We're gonna go over all of the keys for you to maintain that athletic muscle for longevity of life. And we're gonna start right now. So recently, Shore et al. released a study on muscular architecture and its relationship with longevity of living. And one of the things, I'm gonna call out people like myself, who used to be big muscular dudes back when we were younger, a lot heavier, you know, 275 to 300 plus pounds. We don't wanna actually listen to these studies because we're like, oh, we got all the muscle, we don't need anything. But for longevity of living, for health in general, there's a couple key factors that Shore talked about. And the first, aspect was step count. Step count plays a massive role in how long that you live, how healthy you are while you're living. So to alleviate that, inside of the weight room, we can just start off with simple PVC pipe walks. So if we wanna optimize our living, we need to increase our step count. Yes, there's an arbitrary number of 10,000 steps per day. You can try and shoot above that, but where I would start is try to monitor how many steps are you taking on a daily basis. And you can start by just increasing your steps with something cool like the PVC pipe walk. You can use our technique stick here, starting off as a guide. And then as you get better, you don't need to use this, okay? So you can start off simple PVC pipe walks. The second step that you can do is get right into side band walks. So now we're adding a little bit of steps and we're also increasing our glute strength and our overall ability, and we're warming up for a nice resistance-based training, okay? So we come back here, PVC pipes, side band walks, and then the final part to increase that step count that's inside of your workout, and also very challenging, sorry on the tape, is going to be skips, easy skips. Just here, nice and easy skips. You can go forward, and you can go backward to stimulate that coordination. Do this for four or five straight passes, and that's gonna help improve that long-term step count that Shore talks about. Now, the second aspect that Shore talks about as far as muscular architecture is they start to break down, okay, how much muscle mass or muscle degradation occurs and how that leads to metabolic changes. So what does that mean for us if we're inside of a gym or even if we're just outside and we wanna get a decent workout in? We can start to break down and understand that Doing endurance-based work for about 15 to 30 minutes before resistance training, and if we're doing that around zone two, maybe into zone three, that can actually lead to greater hypertrophy. So you go 15 to 30 minutes in zone two on a fan bike, maybe you go out for an easy jog or a walk, or you can even do something like kettlebell swings. Okay, so you're going kettlebell swings, let's say 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. You do that for 20 straight minutes, that's gonna improve your endurance. And as we've seen in videos over on Garage Strength Channel, where we break down how cardio and endurance can actually lead to greater levels of hypertrophy. If we can lead to greater levels of hypertrophy through cardio-based training, and we're still doing resistance-based training as well, which we'll get into, that's going to increase our muscle mass or at least maintain that healthy muscle mass. And then in turn, we will stave off those metabolic issues as long as we continue to eat very, very well. But if we can follow the advice of this research paper, use some type of endurance two to three days a week for 15 to 30 minutes, maybe once a week you go a little bit longer than that, and that's gonna help improve your overall metabolic capacity. So one of the final aspects around Shore's research paper is that they talk about the direct link between muscle mass and body composition, and then that having a direct correlation with cognitive decline and with health decline. So that means if you have poor body composition, and this is where BMI does come into play, okay? A lot of people in the fitness world, myself included in the past, will say BMI is worthless, but it might only be worthless as a measurement for people who are the ages of 18 to 30 who are extremely muscular. But as you age, there's a very direct linkage between BMI and longevity because of what we've seen in this research, where muscle mass and your body composition show that you will live longer if you have more muscle mass and if your body composition is leaner. So what you can do is start off with something like a very simple resistance-based workout. So you just did 15 to 20 minutes of endurance-based training, and now you can get right into the sled, okay? So you've got a sled you can push, let's say 15 meters, okay? Get those quads nice and swole, and then you can pull back, okay? Then we're gonna give you three other exercises. 
pull back. This is exactly what we do when we lay out our workouts inside of our app Peak Strength, specifically with our programming for athletic fitness. One thing that we noticed with a lot of athletes is that as we aged and we got out of that competitive realm, a lot of people don't know how to train anymore. We're so used to training like athletes. And then when we stop competing, we don't know how to really continue to train like athletes while still focusing on our longevity. And that's where athletic fitness comes into play. So we're gonna push, pull. Now I'm gonna do a dumbbell snatch. A little bit of explosiveness, okay? And then we're gonna pair this with an easy squat. Okay, I might rest about 10 seconds. And this is one of the cool parts around how we program in athletic fitness. You can actually download Peak Strength, go into the app and select. I wanna focus on bodybuilding. I wanna focus on building muscle. I wanna focus on building my athleticism. I wanna focus on building my endurance. You can select whatever area that you wanna focus on and try to improve your overall fitness so that your body composition stays healthy. Now I'm doing those walking lunges, going forward, working my mobility and my single leg strength. And now I'm gonna drive backwards, pull up those quads and continue to help you guys attain that long, fruitful life. So head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store, you can download Peak Strength for five free workouts in a seven day time frame. You can cancel at any time and you can select that athletic fitness portion. Okay, when you're in the athletic fitness portion, you can select any type of strength quality that you wanna focus on so that you can stave off that negative decline that Shore talks about inside of that research paper. Because remember, freaks, at some point, you've gotta begin that journey to attain peak strength. Peace.